Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how to fix a problem that we were having with our Dyson. It's a uh, Dyson DC-17 animal. Um, the problem basically occurred when uh, one day we were trying to just vacuum and it became <laughs> extremely difficult to push and pull on carpet. Um, I read some of the forums online and it um, recommended making sure that the filter was clear um, and even replacing the filter, which I did both of those, cleaned it, that did nothing, so I went ahead and replaced the filter. Um, but one thing we did find uh, is a way to fix this, and all it will t take for you is a, uh, looks like a nickel or a quarter, and about two minutes of time. So what you're going to want to do is just flip your Dyson over, and on the bottom, where the brushes are, you're going to find three screws. Give them, put the uh, nickel or quarter into the slots, and give them a half turn to the left, and this panel will pop off the covers where the brush is. Now, what you'll see is a little rubber stripping that goes around through here. So just using something to pull that stripping up. It's kind of hard to see here, but once you can get that stripping up, just remove it all the way around. And don't worry, this little stripping is not needed. I was actually told that by a Dyson representative after we were able to get the problem resolved. I called to find out if that was any need for that particular stripping and they said no, that the machine will function perfectly fine without it. So then just replace the screws like so. And go ahead and fire it up. And as you can see, I'm pretty much just using one and two fingers now. One and two fingers now to push it. So it came from you know being extraordinarily hard to push and pull to the point where you know I was completely exhausted after doing half of a bedroom to uh, now back to completely functioning normal again. So I hope this video helped you out and uh, uh, saves you some time and money so you don't have to go out and buy extra parts. Um, anyway, have a great day. Bye-bye.